Let us pray. O Lord, our God, we confess our faith in you. We confess to you, Lord, that we believe in you, God the Father Almighty, the creator and the ruler of all things. And we believe in Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son, our Lord and Saviour. Through his life, his death on the cross, and his resurrection, he conquered sin and death, forgiving our sins and reconciling us to you. Lord, we believe in the Holy Spirit, through whom Christ dwells in the hearts of those who believe sanctifying us in the truth. Lord, we believe in your church, which is the body of Christ, the fellowship of the saints. And we believe in the Holy Scriptures, Lord, and in the ministry of word and sacraments. And we believe in the coming of the kingdom of God, and the blessed hope of life eternal, through our Lord Jesus Christ. And we believe, Lord, that the chief end of mankind is to glorify you and to enjoy you forever. So we come with praise on this Easter day. And we think of the world in which we live and all the suffering and sorrows around. We pray, Lord, for the peace that is from above and for the salvation of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for your people, your church, throughout the world. Different branches of the church might be celebrating Easter at different times. In the Eastern churches there, some of them will be celebrating Easter next week. But at this time of the year, throughout the world, Christians are remembering, Lord, your death and your resurrection and your triumph, Lord Jesus. And we pray especially for those who are suffering persecution for their faith as Christians or as prisoners of conscience for standing up for what is right and speaking out against what is wrong. And we pray for the people of Ukraine, especially the people of Mariupol, who have been under such intense bombardment and suffered such losses. And all those who have been made refugees, been forced to flee their home. and the people of Russia, the poor people in Russia who will suffer the result of sanctions against that regime. And for people throughout the world who are suffering at this time, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask your blessing upon your church and its witness and its ministry. May the message of Christ go out clearly. We thank you for all the modern means of communication, that the message of Christ can go out through the internet, through radio broadcasts, reaching places where no one would be able to go with the gospel. We thank you for all the means of communication we have. And pray that the knowledge of Jesus Christ, of his life, his death and resurrection, and of eternal life through him, will be made known to people of all nations in this earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for those in authority, our leaders and rulers, both in national and in local government, in all the political crises at this time. We pray, Lord, that in the end, 
right decisions will be made, right decisions regarding the conflict in Ukraine and right decisions regarding the refugee question and right decisions regarding climate change and global warming and right decisions regarding how to help people through times of financial stress. We pray that those in authority will be in touch with their needs and seek the welfare of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray to you, Lord, for all who at this time are sick and suffering in any way, for those who are lonely and for those who are close to the end of their lives, for those who are bereaved and sorrowful. And especially we lift to you any we know in such situation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for that sure and certain hope of eternal life through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Help us to go out into the world strengthened by the knowledge that Jesus is alive and is with us. These things we offer, these prayers we offer in the name of Jesus, who taught us when we pray to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. As we prepare to come to the Lord's table, let us now sing together the first two verses of 942. Here, O my Lord, I see thee face to face. Here would I touch and handle things unseen. Here grasp with firmer hand the eternal grace, and all my weariness upon thee lean. Verses 1 and 2 before communion. So we come to the table of the Lord. The Lord's table is open to all who love the Lord Jesus Christ 
in all sincerity. To all who acknowledge him as Lord and Saviour and are living in accordance with his rules, his laws and in fellowship with his people. So let us join in this holy fellowship. On one occasion, Jesus said, Come to me, all who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. We remind ourselves of how this sacrament first began in the words of the Apostle Paul in his first letter to the Corinthians. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also, the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us therefore follow the example of our Lord Jesus Christ in word and in action. Turn to the people alongside you or in front of you and just uh, wish them peace. Don't, we're not going to get up and walk around, but please, in some way, share the peace with one another. Peace be with you. And let us now pray. Gwedion, mair arglwydd yma, mae ysbryd yn bresennol. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Do chafw chai calonau, fe do chafw nat yr arglwydd. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. From the Och Ir Arglu thine dew, a man yawn in e roy tho the Och ash Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Almighty Father, we give you thanks and praise now. You created all things, you made us human beings in your own image, and we thank you for the message of Easter that while we were yet sinners, you gave your only Son, Jesus Christ, to live as one of us, to suffer, to die on the cross, and to rise again for our salvation. Therefore, with all your creation, in heaven and on earth, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Sanctae, 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 thar gluid, the u pob gathli agrim, never dyer sin thaun of the goniant, Hosanna and a gorichav. Therefore, Heavenly Father, in praise and thanksgiving, we now make this memorial of the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. We proclaim his triumphant resurrection. We celebrate our redemption through him, and we look to his coming again in glory. By the power of your Holy Spirit, bless these gifts of bread and wine the fruit of the earth worked by human hands, that through them we may receive in faith the body and blood of our living Lord. Help us, Lord, to approach your table in humility and expectation, to be strengthened in our faith, 
and equipped and empowered to serve and bear witness to Christ. So unite us with him, with all his people, here on earth and in heaven. And at the last, lead us all to feast with you in the joy of your heavenly kingdom. And unto you, almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be all honour and glory now and forever. Amen. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ shall come again. Would you take the communion cup and remove the top film to uncover the wafer underneath? Ar ar glwyd iesu yn os o brydach wyrdd, a gymerodd fara, ac wedi iddo ddiolch fe torodd yn dywedodd hwn yw fy'n horf a dorir er eich mwyn chwi, gwnewch hyn er cof am danaf. The Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us take and remember with thankful hearts. Do you now remove the next layer of film to reveal the wine underneath? Ar un modd hefyd, fe gymerodd y cwpan ar ôl swper gan ddweud a cwpan hwn yw'r cyfamod newydd yn fy ngwaed i. Gynewch hyn bob tro yr afwch ef er cof amdanaf. In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us drink and be thankful. <coughs> Oin du seed and doing a mouth bechod ar bid, to garha urthim. Oin du sydd yn dwi'n ymaith bechod a'r byd, dyro ei ni da dan nefedd. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of taking communion, of sharing in bread and wine to remember what Jesus has done for us on the cross. And just as the physical ailments will be taken up into our bodies, so may we also, in a spiritual sense, be filled with your Spirit, partake of Christ, and share him to the world. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and to work in thanksgiving for what was done for us to your praise and glory. Amen. Let us sing the remaining two verses of number 942. Here would I feed upon the bread of God.
Ewch mewn tangnefydd, y wasanaeth i'r arglwydd. A bendith diw hollach lleog, a tad, a mab, a rasbyd lan, a fod y gydach wi yn wastad. Go in peace to serve the Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you always. Amen. Thank you.